What is going on, everybody? I'm Bobby Five. This is going to be my five and five. I know it's been a little bit because I've had a lot of uh, personal stuff going on, but we are going to get after it today. Um, I'm going to make this really quick and short and talk about what I'm doing today. Favorite stacks uh, are going to be Toronto, number one, the Yankees and Atlanta, if you can afford them, although I'm a little lower on Atlanta than I think the field will be. And I think I'm a little I'm a little worried about Miley just being tricky enough to get through the Yankees, but I do like both those spots quite a bit. My other stacks that I'm using are Milwaukee, Tampa Bay, and San Diego. Those are all value stacks. So I'm using them mostly as three and four men. Um, but I think that they're very, very solid. And the one I'm sort of up in the air with, or the two games I'm sort of up in the air with are to both Texas and Chicago, White Sox and Kansas City and Baltimore. And those are the ones I'm considering. But Toronto is my favorite, Milwaukee for value, Tampa Bay for value, San Diego for value. And then the Yankees potentially has another main stack, uh, five man, if you want to attack Miley. Favorite pitchers, pretty straightforward. Uh, I like Severino. I like Musgrove. I think you can double spend up with the, some of those uh, cheap uh, stack builds that I was talking about. Uh, Milwaukee with those guys seem to make a lot of sense. And then I want to get exposure to McKinsey. And then on the cheap end, it's going to be Berrios, Strider, and Contreras for Pittsburgh. Contreras being the contrarian one. Uh, no, not, not trying to make a funny little play on words, but just happened to work out that way. But that's what I've got so far. So favorite one-offs. Uh, Jose Ramirez, by the way, we should probably just be like playing him as a one-off if you're not like, you know, if you're doing a 5-1-1-1 or 5-2-1 or 4-3-1. I just think that he's so much better than every other third baseman and the numbers show it. And I think that we, you know, every day you want to try to see if you can get to him. Obviously judge Stanton at the high end, Acuna at the high end, Harold Ramirez is cheap at the low end. Uh, Luke Voigt is the other option at first base. That's really cheap. Christian Yelich and Byron Buxton are my favorite one-offs today. So good luck to everybody. We've also got the NBA finals. Uh, I'm going to be gambling and playing a little Kaminga. It's a little bonus thing that I'm throwing in there for basketball. Uh, I just think that at some point in this series, they're going to want some of that size and athleticism to help them on the defensive end. And they really cannot stop Boston going to the basket right now. So it seems like a good spot to try to throw in Kaminga for 12 to 15 minutes and see what happens. And uh, if things work out well, you know, that could even get up higher in the minutes, especially if you get foul trouble with any of the main starters for Golden State. All right, guys, good luck to everyone tonight. Let's crush it. And uh, I'll be in Discord all night. I'll be live at 6 Eastern talking baseball and basketball. And uh, let's have a big day, guys. Good luck, everybody.